Uh, in this video, I'll show you how to take a text table that we can get from a web page and pull it into Excel using Power Query. Let's say, for example, we're out on the web and this is a census table. This is from census.gov. I will just paste it in here and we get a table like this. It's a text file, but it's in a text file table format. And you may think, oh, maybe it's just as easy as uh, selecting the table here. Let me try to select this table all the way down. Oh, it's quite quite a bit, so I'll just Control A to do that. Let me see, deselect, Control A, Control C to copy, come back into Excel and paste. We don't want to paste at the source, we just want to paste the match the destination, whatever the defaults of Excel. And you'll notice that it doesn't really paste it all too well. It paste it all into one column. If I double click this column, you can see that it's pasted everything into one column. And it might take a little time to like uh, take this out. You can probably do it with something that is already inherent in Excel, maybe text to columns feature and, and some other spacing. But in this particular video, I'll show you how to do it using Power Query. So to use Power Query to do it, let's, we can leave this here. I'll just go ahead and go to Data and select New Query and from sources and from the web. Now when I do it from the web, I'm going to input that particular URL in the Power Query field. So when it comes up, I just paste the URL in here. Control V to paste. I had that saved earlier. Click OK. And it's going to go out and find that web page and bring it into the Power Query editor. So it's connecting and you'll notice that it looks and sees it almost like it's a text file that's coming from your local PC. So there's some different options. And we want to edit it. And you can see it, it's kind of partitioned it out into three columns. I guess that's as, as it's, it's looking at its particular algorithm and seeing how it can partition out. And we don't want that. Let's just make it all into one column. And in the editor, we'll, we will figure it out how we are going to separate these into different columns. So for my delimiter, I'm just going to choose uh, fix width and zero. So basically one column. There's no there's no delimiter. I press tab, and you'll notice that it puts it on one column. I still need to edit this, so click the edit button, and it'll bring up the Power Query editor where I can do some further transformation. Let's resize this a little bit. All right, make it a little bit smaller so it can fit in here. So what I need to do is probably get rid of a couple things. I don't need these particular six rows. So I'll just remove rows, remove top rows, remove the six rows here, type six, click OK. And now you notice that there's these ellipses. There's further uh, data or information. So let's bring out the column and see what else we have. So now in this particular instance, what I need to do is probably divide up the columns. And this one becomes more of a, a guess or a guesstimate. So, and I have these, it's kind of nice to have this line here because you, you can count up the character spaces it takes to do that, to do the division and splitting up our columns. So I'm going to split my first column. Let's kind of figure this out one, maybe this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And maybe there's about 15 spaces that we can split. So let's try that out. And we're going to split by the number of characters. So the first one's going to be 15. And we're going to select just ones as far left as possible to do that first column. All right. So it's kind of a guesstimate right now. So we split that up and it's kind of split up pretty nicely. And we do the same here for this one. One we can count about, about how many spaces that we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're going to split this one about nine characters. All right. Nine characters once far left as possible. And we kind of split that one up. So I'll split the remainder of the columns and probably speed up this video. So that was the last column that I was able to split up. 
now I probably need to have these as the column header fields and you notice that there's kind of two in here and what I can do is since this is both the same I'll edit that later on but let's remove this column the first column just remember that this is population per square kilometer kilometer this is population per square mile here so let's get rid of the first column there remove that row remove the first row and then make this particular row the header row so we'll you promote this first row and make it as headers so now you notice that it shows up there and as I mentioned before we can edit this header double click on there and it'll say population per let's just copy that so I don't have to type it over control C to copy press tab and do the same thing here double click control V to paste let's delete that extra space press enter and now I don't need these lines so I will click that drop down go to the very bottom and it'll probably show those lines so I'm gonna uncheck that and click OK and now those lines disappear so all I need to do is kinda of do some editing of the data types this is not a string it's numbers so select that and go to whole numbers square miles this is a decimal and this is a decimal. I can actually just, uh, these are all decimals, so I will multi-select, press the shift key, and select that particular column, right click, change type, and those are decimal numbers, so it changes them all in wholesale. This is text, that's fine. Uh, let's see if it uh, picked that out. Yeah, yep, that, that was okay. So, all I need to do, I can probably call this something different now, I'll just call this census data, census data and close and load and I'll close it load to a new sheet and let's see what happens let's let's see if it kind of pulled this all out into a nice table format oh looks like we have an error here let's go and check it out click on that error and see where it picked up that error let's see it picked up that error under Alaska oh there's probably something where it picked up something where it can convert oh looks like it might have um messed up maybe when I was splitting the columns so this is good when we see that we can probably change some of our steps here or edit some of the steps here let's discard that actually no all right let's click on that click on that all right so let's see what happened uh, let's go to Alaska let's close this uh, discard that was a different uh, that was a different uh, query it did that when I clicked on there and let's see what happened with Alaska let's go to the sheet that we had earlier and see what happened with Alaska I'll just find Alaska and let's see five oh oh we can see that that one got added into that first column that one supposed to be in that second column one four seven seven two six seven not five zero 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 four three space one so let's change that in our query right click edit and that's probably where I had um, probably miscalculated the splitting of this column maybe I split it a little bit too much All right so that was the first column that I split so I can go to this particular step and see what we can do click on the gear icon and maybe instead of splitting it by 15 characters split by 14 characters so it doesn't get that number one click OK and let's see if I go down to the very bottom or if I click on close and load let's see if my errors still show up uh, let's see what happened here there was another problem here let's right click edit and one of the nice things about Power Query is it saves many of these steps here, right? So we have this error where it was looking at pop. And pop is probably where I had changed the uh, title, the header title. And then one of the steps down here is looking probably looking for that. And let's kind of go back up and see where the error started at. It started at promote headers. Oh, OK. So it started here. Let's delete all these steps down below and see what happens right click and select delete to end all right we'll delete all those steps from that there till the end and let's see if we still get our problems here so we don't so that's good 
now what we need to do is put in those pop those uh, population per square kilometer that's probably why it didn't show up population per control C to copy press tab and let's do it here double click control V backspace press tab and let's get rid of these particular items there so we're just kind of going through here scroll down select on that remove that and now we'll just change our data types again go here this is the whole number this to this select shift key and right click change type we'll change that to decimal that's okay as a text you can see actually there's probably some spaces here so what we can do is trim it right click and we're going to do transform and trim so it's going to remove any uh, leading spaces and trailing spaces if everything else looks okay click close and load and let's see if we get our data correct all right it's pulling from the web and it pulled everything down correctly so there's no more errors right so now we have a kind of a, a nice table uh, originally so if we go back to the web page here basically it's text file we want to bring it into excel uh, if we brought it into excel just the copy and paste it's going to bring it on one column and we want to put these into separate columns what we can do is put it into power query and have it look like this that's how we can pull uh, a table that's in a text file on the web into Excel and we're using Power Query to kind of clean it up. You can see it does take a little bit of trial and error in terms of trying to figure out the different column spacings to separate it out. So if this is something that you do on a recurring basis with a text file on the web or an internal web page that does get uh, updated often but the format still stays the same, we can use Power Query to kind of automate that for us. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.